OK, um, welcome to this week's lab. So this week, we will learn that how we can create uh, 3D models from LiDAR data or from the photos. So for the LiDAR data, so we can use the LiDAR scanners to scan uh, like our buildings and also to have those LiDAR points. And for the photos, and we can just use our uh, cell phones to take photos around some object that we are interested. And then we can use different uh, software to create 3D models. So those 3D models can be uh, printed by using 3D printers, or we can also create virtual reality scenes by using those 3D models. OK, so first, so if you don't have the LiDAR points or don't have the photos, so you can just download um, this TLY file. So that is a LiDAR uh, data. So if you look at the raw data, you can see those are the LiDAR data. So those have X, Y, Z. So those are the relative distance between the object and also the sensor. And also this is the strength. So this LiDAR data was collected with a very uh, inexpensive LiDAR scanner. So it is not a professional one. So that's why that all those points are just relative distance between the object and also the sensors. So it is not uh, geo-referenced. And for the photos, uh, so if you are interested, you can take any photo set of your own. Or you can use those photos that I uploaded here. So for the photos, and make sure you take more than 20 photos of the object. And also take the photos at different angles and also around um, the object. And also make sure that you have at least 50% overlaps on those photos. OK, so you can either use those photos or you can take your own photos. All right, so um, here I already um, downloaded this uh, LiDAR data. So that's in the PLY format. And here, those are the photos that for the rock, you can see I, I took photos around this object at different angles. Um, and this is the photo that I, I took a photo that around my pants that on my desk. OK, so those are the data that we have. And I also put the data into this onto my um, OneDrive folder. OK, first, let's create 3D models uh, from the LiDAR data. So we know that those LiDAR data originally are those points, but we all want to convert those points into 3D objects. So the tool that we are going to use, the first one is called MeshLab. So that is a free software that can create 3D models from those LiDAR points. So we will use uh, MeshLab to convert points into 3D models. The second tool is called uh, MeshMixer. So that is also a free tool that is from Autodesk that allow us to modify those 3D models. So, so make sure that we have those two um, software that installed and also download uh, downloaded and also installed. OK, uh, so I'm going to start a mesh lab first. OK, and uh, so that is uh, the mesh lab. OK, and uh, let's also uh, import the PLY file. So let's import mesh. And let's go to our OneDrive folder. OK, and also this is lab 12. So you can see this demo.ply. So that is a, a LiDAR points. And you can use your mouse. So now I'm using my left click so that I can rotate on this model. OK, and you can see right now those are those uh, points. So each dot represent uh, uh, reflected signals of the LiDAR data. OK, so right now those are points. So we are going to create, convert those points into into models, into 3D models. OK, so continuous uh, mesh. So first, let's go to filter. And let's select point set and let's compute um, the normals. OK, so the normals from the point sets. Uh, so here you can try use different parameters, but normally I just use the default one and I hit apply. 
so that you will calculate the normals. Okay. And the next, we are going to create those surfaces. So we are going to reconstruct the surfaces from the normals. So let's go to filter, remeshing, and you can use different algorithms. So the one that I use is a person screened person algorithm. Uh, if you are interested, you can read this article. So this one works pretty well for, for my data set. Again, you can try use different parameters. But I just I will just use the default one. So I hit apply. OK, and later on in the project window and you can see here we have a new mesh that being created. So let's uh, let me turn off the point. So here you can see we have this new mesh. OK, so those are the 3D models. So uh, depending on the re resolution of the 3D object, so the 3D models may uh, looks like slightly different. So here you can see this is the house and we can go inside of the house and you can see the fan okay on the top. okay uh, so this is not a very high resolu resolution model because uh, we are using a non-professional lighter scanner. okay So now we are going to export this 3d model. So let's make sure that the person mesh is selected. And we go to file, let's export the mesh. Okay. And I would recommend using the STL format. Okay. Um, so let's call it the room. Uh, all the OBJ is also fine. So let's just use STL because most 3D printers, they support STL. Okay. So let's save it and let's export that one. All right. And now if I go to my OneDrive folder, as you can see, this STL has been created. Uh, so because I also installed the mesh mixer, so you can see if I double click this STL file, um, I will bring up the mesh mixer. OK, uh, so this is the mesh mixer. Of course, you can use the other tools that to modify those 3D models. So I'm just using mesh mixer. Um, so here we can do something that um, um, to polish this model. So first, for example, if we choose edit and if it's like the scale, okay, uh, transform, sorry, actually transform. And you can see right now the model, the size is uh, more than four meters, okay? Uh, so that is because that we, I use, we use the LiDAR data, so that is the true size, I think, of this room and if we want to print this model with 3d printers this is too big okay so we want to uh, scale this one to smaller size so let's see make sure that we check this uniform scaling so let's give it a smaller size okay and let's accept okay so now you can see this box this 3d box is um, is a 3D printer, okay, so that is a range of the 3D printer, so that is for this specific um, printer. So depending on which printers you are going to use, um, the 3D printers will allow the maximum size that are different. Okay, and for example, if you click this drop down list, and I think you can choose different uh, 3D printers. So for example, uh, we use the the ultimate allowed. Okay. Uh, so now let's see. You can see when we change the size of this uh, model. So we know that, okay, so this 3D printer can print this model. But you can see the mod is beneath the bottom of this 3D printer. So let's re realign, replace this 3D printer. So let's click align. And you can see you can choose different uh align options like base point destinations etc uh, but right now this one is great so the default one is great so let's hit accept okay and now you can see this model now has been placed onto this platform of this 3d printer okay so that's very nice and you can just re-export this model and also send out to 3d printers to print out your models. 
in Mesh Mixer, we can also do something that to uh, polish this model. So for example, if I go here uh, to select, OK, and you can select different. Uh, you can use a smaller uh, size. OK, uh, you can select those different part and you can use delete. OK. Uh, so if you want, so for small, we use to open a window. Uh, so I can just choose this window part and I can hit delete so that we can see the inside from the outside. OK, so let's hit control Z. Undo that. OK, or we can uh, polish this model. So for example, uh, you can see here. We have those those errors. I believe those are some noise from those models. So I'm going to choose flatten. And you can choose different strengths and also size. So I want flight this part. OK. OK, and you can see probably I need a bigger strength. OK, and probably a bigger size. OK, so you can see you can flight uh, the models. All right, uh, you can try the other options. OK, so there are a lot of options. Uh, um, OK, so see that I'm not happy with this model. So we change the size. We replace the model on the uh, 3D printers. And also, it is ready to print out or ready to create VR scenes. So let's export the new model. So let's say export. OK, uh, you can choose use OBG files or STR files, etc. So let's see how the OBG looks like. So this one, I'm going to call it room. OK, so that is uh, exported room. OK, and so that's, that's uh, the creating 3D models from the LiDAR data part. OK, and you can see this OBJ file is uh, the final one that we polished. And uh, if you double click, and so like, for example, in Windows, so we can already see those uh, OBJ file. OK, and we can see that one in VR scenes, or we can bring this one to the um, 3D printers. OK, so that is for the LiDAR data part. So let's close um, those models. OK, next, we can also create uh, 3D models uh, from photos. So again, there are also a lot of uh, tools that can do that. So today, I'm going to introduce the one that is called uh, um, Recap Pro. So Recap Pro is a more professional software that is from the Autodesk. And that can create like LiDAR data and also photos into 3D models. So uh, we are going to recap Pro to convert uh, photos into 3D models. So first, we need to apply for an education license. So we go to the Autodesk Educate. And you can apply for an Educate license for students or for educators. So since I already have the, uh, the account being created, so I'm going to sign with my account. And once we sign in, OK, and I can go to the products and the services. And the way I can find out the Recap Pro, so that is um, here. OK, so you can just, from here, you can just download the Recap Pro. OK. And um, in addition to Recap Pro, you also need to install and also download uh, what they call the desktop connector, so which is a tool that allow you to upload your, your 3D models from your local computer to the cloud. OK. Uh, so you can also download this one. So both, both Recap Pro and also 
uh, desktop con uh, connector only have the Windows version. OK, so, so right now they only have the Windows version. OK, so once you have those uh, downloaded and also installed, so we can now start the Recap Pro. Um, so actually, there are two uh, tools that are uh, installed. So one is called, so I'm going to drag those uh, icons. So one is called Recap. So that can convert uh, LiDAR data into 3D models. And one is Recap Photo. So that can convert photos into 3D models. So actually, we just need to use the Recap Photo. So let's double click. So that will bring the recap photo. Uh, you may also need to sign in with your account. OK, so here we can see so we are using this education license. And make sure you sign in with the same account that you created. And you can see those are the models that I created earlier. So here I'm going to create an object from those uh, photos. You can also upload photos that if you took from the drones, but here I just upload the photos that I took by using cell phones. Okay, and let's add photos. So I'm going to go to my OneDrive folder. Okay, uh, so uh, if you are using the photo that's from GitHub, so you can choose either pens photo or the rock photo. So here I'm going to choose the pens. OK, uh, you can see again, make sure you have more than 20 photos and uh, took the photos of the object from different angles. Um, and also make sure that each photo has 50% uh, overlap with other photo. Now let's create, choose create. Um, so here you need to choose a uh, project name. So here I'm going to call it pen demo. And I would just check auto crap. And also you need to choose the cloud destination folder. OK, uh, so here it pop up uh, from this uh, desktop connector. So here I choose my data and I choose my pen folder. OK, and now let's hit start. OK, uh, so now you can see um, they are going to upload um, the photo to the cloud first. Uh, and also make sure that uh, you also need to make sure that your auto desk desktop connector is also uh, started. Otherwise, you may see an error that the, they cannot find out the desktop connector. So the uploading file is very fast. So here you can also try another one. So go to object. So here, let's say I want to upload the rocks. OK, so you can upload multiple projects. Uh, for this one, I will call it rock demo. And you can choose the destination folder. OK, so I choose my rock folder, which I created earlier. All right. So now you can see I'm going to, now I'm uploading the rock photos as well. Okay. So the pen photos, um, the uploading is almost done. Okay. Again, those are the previous um, models that I uploaded. Okay. Uh, so once those models are uploaded, so we have to be very, very patient. OK, so we all see this one a lot. So that means that 1% weaking in the Qi. Uh, so that is because we are using this education license. OK, so that there are limited resources that for education license. So we have wait. So it may take uh, several hours that to have our uh, data to be uploaded and also to uh, to be um, processed. So for example, for those two models, um, so I uploaded last night and also this morning, those models are ready. So it really depends on how many people are using the service at the same time. Okay, 
So if there are a lot of people using the service, so it may require a longer waiting period. OK, uh, so of course, you have to safely close this recap photo now because everything is now working in the cloud. OK, so now I'm going to show you that how the model look like. So if um, when they are created, so I'm going to my PC. So this is the drive that uh, has been created. So when you installed the desktop connector. So now if I click the folder. OK, so now you can see I have the pen demo that one that just been created. Uh, right now it should be empty. Uh, if I go to my pen folder, so here those other um, uh, 3D models. So when they are ready, so you will see the 3D models here. So there are two files. One is called FBX, one is called RCM. So RCM is the one that you can open that one in the uh, recap photo. So if I double click this RCM file, OK, so that will bring this recap photo uh, where you can view the 3D models that in the recap photo. OK, you can see it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Um, you can also edit. OK. Analyze and also you can export this one. So exp export as an image, as a video. And also here you can export as the other objects. So like OBG file, that is one that you can use for the 3D printers. Um, FBX. And that I think is used to for the to create VR scenes, okay. And you can also control the quality. So, for example, for the OBG, and say for the OBG file, uh, so you can choose medium, high, or low quality. Uh, for the uh, FBX, okay. You can also choose media and also low or the high quality. Okay. Again, so normally for the OBG files, which is normally used for the 3D printers, um, um, and also for the FB, here you can see they also support the STL. For the FBX, so that is one that you can use for the VR scenes. All right. And let's also look at this FBX uh, file. So if I double click, so now you can see I'm use now I'm using a 3D viewer that in Windows. Okay. Uh, so basically, that is the similar uh, uh, model, but in different format, which we can use for different um, purposes. Okay. So this is a 3D model that. Uh, FBX file, okay, which we can use that in the VR scenes. All right, and next, so once the model is finished, you can also go to the Autodesk driver, so which is the cloud uh, storage of the Autodesk, and you can sign in again with the uh, with your account. Okay, uh, from there. Uh, you can see that the same folders on your local um, computer. So I, I go to the rock. You can see we have the rock demo and also I have the rock models that is from my previous ones. Uh, from there, you can also view those models uh, online. So for example, if I uh, double click this one, OK, and I will be able to view uh, this rock FBX model that uh, by using my um, browser, so it it is now processing. Okay, so this is the rock, and you can see it's also pretty cool. Okay, so you can rotate. Uh, you can also measure the size. Okay, and which is not. Uh, actually, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a true size or not. Um. And if you think the, the size is wrong, so you can also collaborate. So for example, you can uh, click this part and also you can tell, okay, so what should be the right size that of this rock? Okay, 
Uh, Okay, so that is how we can view that one online. And um, another nice thing is that you can actually share this model. So let's go to home. Okay, and yes, here. And you can see you can get a link for this model. Okay, and you can allow that whether you want that to be public or not and if public and you can just copy this URL and you can share this uh, URL with other person okay so you can share this one with other person and again this is another format that is RCM which can be opened in a uh, re recap photo uh, you can also download the file so you can click downloads and, and you can download that one in the FBX format or the zip format 